Hi everyone, it's Halo the Comic Geek here. I'm sorry, I, I was confused. Well, anyway, since it's Thanksgiving next Thursday, I decided to do a Thanksgiving special. So anyway, there's like nothing comic related to Thanksgiving. Well, since, well, I found something. Since, um, well, since Thanksgiving is represented by a turkey, yeah, Thanksgiving is where you spend time with your family, well, you eat and stuff, well, I don't know. But there's a turkey involved. The turkey is like the main thing to Thanksgiving. So anyway, I'm, we're gonna count down how many birds are there in the comic universe. I'm talking about the bird characters that are that have bird names and bird powers and stuff. So no. anyway, let's sit back and watch the top twelve bird characters. Number twelve Raven. Now, about Raven, well, she's from another dimension where her father is a demon with six eyes, I guess. Anyway, she, she's a member of the Teen Titans, and she's in a relationship with Beast Boy. I guess, I don't know why. It happened in the comics, I don't know. Number 11. Phoenix. Now everyone knows this is Jean Grey, but she's the Phoenix. Well, if she like turns mad or something, she turns into Dark Phoenix. I don't know how did the Phoenix get inside her body or anyway. anyway. Her original power was to make things float and do mind powers and stuff but now that she has the phoenix force she has new powers which I don't know I don't know anyway moving on number 10 Hawk yeah this guy I don't even know his origin but yeah I saw him in a show from Justice League Unlimited. Yeah, I'll show you that picture in a minute. Number nine. Dove. Anyway, this is Dove. She's the partner of, of Hawk. I don't know why she... She turned out to be a boy, but yeah, they showed up in the show too. Number eight. Owl Man. Now, Owl Man was, well, he first appeared in the Justice in Christ, Justice Crisis on Two Earths, a movie. Yeah, I know. That's all I know about him. Number seven. Vulture. Now the Vulture is Adrian Toomes. Because over the years he's been Spider-Man's nemesis. I mean enemy. He's one of the rogues gallery. He was even part of the Sinister Six. In the old comics. Anyway. Wow. Anyway. Yeah, he was a scientist and stuff. Of course. Anyway, let's move on. Number six. The Crow. His origin is very, very sad. Well, if you guys watched my, um, if you guys watched episode two of my show, you would see so you see his backstory. Well, he's in it. I didn't explain the backstory. 
Well, I'm explaining it now. His backstory is very sad. Well, on his way back from the beach, he was he was murdered by some bully, by some a gang, and they turned out they killed his killed his girlfriend. Well, he was shot in the head, and then and then he was paralyzed. His eyes were still open, so he so he was forced to watch his watch his girlfriend being raped and murdered. Wow, just sad. But a crow, a crow, just, just a crow, just brings him, brings him back to life. I don't know how. If you watch the movie, you'll see. But the origin is different. Weird. Number five. The owl. Now, I don't know the owl's backstory, I can't explain it, but there's some appearances he made. I got this Marvel Knights comic book about Spider-Man, and he was in it. Yeah, he was in it. Oh, he also was in the Spider-Man animated series. Number four. Black Canary. Black Canary is Green Arrow's love interest. Anyway, she has she knows martial arts, and also she she has this sonic scream that can that can shatter glass anything a super sonic scream. Just don't tell her. Whenever you say, want to hear a secret. She yells like a super size scream. That's the best thing I like about her. And also, if you guys look at Black Canary, look, there's a picture or a magazine where she breaks a speakerphone or something. I don't know. Moving on. Number three. Angel. Uh, by the way, um, yeah, some, he's some, William something the third, yeah. Yeah, he was part of the X-Men, and he had metal wings, too. Well, first, Warren or William? Oh, wait, yeah, it was Warren, Warren something the third. Why does every last name have to be the third? The third? What does that mean? Anyway, back to the subject. It's a, well, it's just... Well, he was part of the X-Men. First he had feather, feather wings. And then he had... Um... Metal wings. And then he was turned into the evil Archangel. Archangel, yeah. And he, why was he turned into that? Because of Mr. Sinister. Or was it Apocalypse? Or heck, what if it was both? I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Number two. Night Owl. What can I say about Night Owl? He's part of that movie, The Watchmen. Yeah, soon I'll review that. <laughs> if I see the movie. I gotta see the movie first. Let's, it's, yeah, I gotta see the movie first and then review it. And see how it turns out. Anyway, back to Night Owl. Night Owl, well, I don't know nothing about his origin. But he was part of The Watchmen. Anyway. Let's move on. We're almost done. Here's the honorable mentions.
Number one. Falcon. I love Falcon. Because he... He's in the new show of the Avengers. Yeah. Oh, in the old days he had a falcon named Red Wing. But in the new show he has a backpack that's called Nightwing. Well, the new suit. Oh. And by the way, he's the new Captain America. Yeah, Captain America got older so... Yeah, he's the new Captain America. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you comment, subscribe to my channel, and like this video. Anyway, I'm Matt Will, I'm Matt Will the Comic Geek, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.